already know, Ed and I are on vacation. We are taking a Caribbean cruise on a Carnival Cruise Line, not a sponsor or anything, we just like them. And we don't know where all the ports are gonna be, but we're gonna find out together. And in this video, we are going to focus on all of the reptiles, amphibians, and invertebrates that we find on this trip. First stop is Dominican Republic. This is terrible. Well, it's nice weather. It's just very, very hot. So we learned that our first stop on this cruise was the Dominican Republic. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. And lo and behold, we found a lizard. Right that little guy. There. Looks like a curly-tailed lizard. I don't know. We'd have to do more research. Yeah, we'll have to figure that one out. I don't think we're going to be able to catch it. No. But this is our proof that we found one. He knows he's safe there. Yeah, here. <laughs> Emily's going to try for it anyway. Yeah, let me back out oh, for us. Never mind, he's already gone. Oh, you looked at him sideways and he went, yeah, peace him out. Yes. Now it's Ed's turn to try to catch that anole missing its tail. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's really cute. Definitely an anole of some sort. Is he still in view? Yeah. Can you catch him? No. He's a little high. Oh, and there he goes. Oh. He okay. went back on your side. Okay, I'll scare him back up. Oh, he's way up there now. Aw, lame. He's really cute. He he's is? He's like got blue head and a yellow body. Oh, there he goes. He's like, don't film me. You don't have my right. I just want to say two things. First off, fun fact, there are no venomous snakes in the Dominican Republic, so any snakes we see are free to grab and yeah. identify later. Good luck. Second, everybody on this ship that decided to come off is partying down there, and we're finding lizards. This is awesome. Aw, little Dominican Republic jumping spider. Hello. Oh, he's looking up at you. Oh, oh hi. Come here. You're... Oh. oh, wow. Ah, uh, calm. Oh, yep. there he is. Hanging from my hand here. I'll put you back. <laughs> there you go. Thank you for hopping on my hand. Do you want to do it again? That was on, on camera the first time. No one's going to believe me. Come here. Come here, little cutie. He's my friend. Oh, oh, and now he's on the ground. Oh, <laughs> I don't want you to get stepped on. Here, climb back up the wall. Come here, come here. Nope, nope, don't get stepped on. Go at least onto the wall. Yeah, go down a hole. Go there. Okay. Yeah. Goodbye. That's like a creepy big spider. <laughs> yeah. On the other end of the spectrum, oh, jeez. We found a huge spider, yeah. which, okay. Leaf for reference. For, oh, yeah. Oh, he's <laughs> running away from the leaf. But, like, look at the size of the brick. And then my hand. Oh, my gosh, there he goes. Okay. I don't even know what kind of spider that is. If I'm not mistaken, this is a species of huntsman spider. These are large spiders that, although they can bite, are not dangerous to humans. As you can see, they have cool little bristles called setae that stick out from their legs. They have a pretty short lifespan though, with females only living about, I think it's a year and a, a year and a half, and males only live really just a little over a year. Okay, cutie, we don't want you on the people's side because yep. someone's gonna hurt you. Come on, go up and around. Nope, nope, not this way. Not no, this way. You have nope. to go over, yep. Yep. over the going. wall. Oh, God. Oh, there you go. There. Go free. Yeah, they're perfect. Goodbye. Well, we went on a hike. Yeah. Didn't find anything other than a couple spiders and a few lizards we couldn't catch, but yep. that's okay. We missed out on filming a video at Dominican Republic. Pretty but... sure it's like 100 degrees here. Oh, it's so hot. It so, you know what? Humidity. This is our vacation. We're just going to jump in the pool instead. Well, we are at the second port, which we learned was Puerto Rico. So, we're in Puerto Rico. I don't know what we're going to find here. I would like to find the Puerto Rican boa, which would be amazing, or Puerto Rican racer, the only venomous species here on the island. But the cool thing about Puerto Rico is the way it was formed was it, it didn't break off from a chunk of land. It formed from its own accord after, as a result of volcanic activity, it just kind of emerged from the middle of the ocean. And because of that, the animals that live on it either had to swim to get there, fly, or hitchhike on a boat. So everything that lives here animal-wise, you know, it found its own way here. So there's a, an interesting biodiversity here. So I don't know what we're gonna find, but we are currently in the rainforest of Puerto Rico. So I think that'll give us our best odds at finding some cool stuff. Yeah, there's like a nest here behind you. Oh, cool! I don't know what it is, but... Yeah, I don't know either. It's really cute. Oh, it's Aww. like one of those ones that goes up in. Cool. I wonder who lives in there. Oh my gosh. There's a snake right there. Yeah. Are you alive? Could be. He probably tucked his head, so... Oh, he's dead. Aww. Lame. Oh, it was a racer. They're here. Yeah, that is a Puerto Rican racer. That's a bummer that he died. Okay, well, let's keep looking. Whoa. 
<laughs> That's a snail climbing a vine. It's like two and a half inches in diameter. It's huge, yeah. Okay, I kind of want to pick up the snail. But are there any snakes while we're here? No? Okay, Mr. Snail, hold me up, banana tree. <gasps> Come here. Whoa. Whoa, it's not round. Oh my gosh. This is a Puerto Rican tree snail. They have a flying saucer shaped shell which can grow up to four inches in diameter. And as you can see, they are great climbers, hence their name. What's really crazy about them is they are both male and female, giving them the ability to breed with any other snail they encounter. And it takes three to six years before they become mature. Oh, he tucked back in. I was gonna put him back on the vine, but I guess he's too scared. So I will just put you here so nobody steps on you. Goodbye. Whoa, and then look at this snail. That's cool looking too, hello. Come here. I have no idea what species of snail this is, but it looks like a lamprey and it's really cool. If someone can let me know what it is, if you know, please, please do, I'd love to learn. Oh, there's another one right there. Here, go with your buddy, goodbye. Another one of the snails. Oh, oh, I scared him. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Sorry. And we are going to end the day in Puerto Rico at the historic site in San Juan, uh, where we've made friends with a lovely green iguana here. I don't think you're friends. No, we I think he's just tolerating you. We're definitely not friends. We know how <laughs> green iguanas work. Yep. But you know what? It's been a fun day here in Puerto Rico. Didn't find a whole lot as far as reptiles went. Well, we found a lot of lizards. Yeah, we found a lot of lizards. Just couldn't catch any of them. And we didn't even get to film the uh, the Puerto Rican ground lizard. Yeah, we saw, but a we bunch saw of those. like five or six of those. Those are cool. awesome. So we're gonna keep on trekking forward tomorrow. I don't know what the port is, but I know we're gonna make port at another place tomorrow. Yep. And hopefully we'll have better luck at finding wild reptiles. But yeah. you know what? We'll take a green iguana. Yeah, we'll take a green. Hey, buddy. He's not. You know, they're green iguanas. They're we invasive get here. Tons of them. Yeah, they're invasive everywhere. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Before moving on to our next port though, I do want to quickly thank Bianca, Andy, and Jaguar84 for recommending the National Forest in uh, Puerto Rico because it did give us, I think, our best shot at finding reptiles. And you know what? We did find a dead snake, yeah. a dead racer. A bunch of lizards. And a bunch of lizards. Yeah. So thank you guys for the recommendations. And there's this iguana here who's just chilling on top of the fort. And I think there's another iguana right down there. Yep, right down there. There he is. He's super warm. He had his mouth open earlier. Oh, nice. He's just doing his thing. The iguanas own this place. Oh yeah, totally. Actually, before we go, we climbed up here and we found another green iguana. Oh, he's the boss. They definitely own this place. All right, we are at the third and final port destination for the cruise, which ended up being St. Thomas. And as many of you might remember, I guess, some of you might remember, when we were herping on another cruise port years ago, we took a scooter around. Well, today, since we're adults now, we have rented a golf cart. Yep. We're gonna try to find tortoises, because they're known, redfoot tortoises are known to be on this island, Water Island at St. Thomas. Don't know if we're gonna find anything, but it's beautiful, so we're gonna have fun anyway. These are upside down jellyfish. They're pretty common around the Caribbean and they get their name because once they become adults, they lie upside down on the sea floor. They're not often seen swimming freely though, as far as I'm aware, so it's actually kind of odd to see them at the surface of the water here. Now, if you're not familiar with the jellyfish's life cycle, it is weird. The ones we're looking at here are adult medusas. The males will release sperm, the females will release eggs, and they just hope that they come into contact with one another for fertilization. If they do, the eggs hatch into larvae, which grow and then attach to something hard like a rock or a mangrove root and then becomes a polyp. Then it waits until the water conditions are right and it reproduces asexually, budding off baby medusas from itself. The medusas grow and mature and then the cycle starts again. All right, we found a trail. I'm hoping this leads to some tortai. It's like a giant hole in the ground here. Whoa, what is that? All right, let's 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 take a look and look for tortoises on the way. I don't see any yet. What in the world? Cactus-y things in there. Can I go down here? Oh, it ends. 
but wow. You think people threw those cactuses in? Or oh, absolutely. Think, okay. I bet all that stuff was thrown in. What was this? Could be a gun turret. Really? Be, like, it was screwed into here, and then the rail was something that went around, maybe. Oh, like and they could cannon. swivel it and, yeah. like, shoot things out from right yeah. there. That's sweet. Whoa, what's this? It keeps going. Whoa. What is this place? Okay, first, it's we where, should check those boards. It's where the teens come to drink. Yeah, probably. Come on, tortoises. Oh, there's a lizard. Oh, there's a gecko. That? Yeah, here, oh. lift it up more. Oh, it's heavy. Ugh. Oh, there he goes. Oh, we can totally catch him. Oh, he's skittering. Oh, he's going, he's in the, okay, keep going. He's going towards the rock, he's right. Oh, oh he's behind the door. Oh, he's going inside. Okay, well, this is how we enter the cave of death. Get oh. oh, my God, what are you? Stop squiggling. Oh, jeez. Okay, got it. Hey, we herped. We herped. We caught something. Let's go here. Oh, it's a gecko. I believe this is a Mediterranean house gecko. They have all sorts of different names, including the moon gecko because they come out at night, and they're called house geckos because of their ability to adapt and coexist with humans, and are often found near man-made structures just like this little cutie was. They're also sometimes called the leaf-toed gecko because of their laterally flattened toe pads, which somewhat resemble little leaves. The toe pads, along with a little short claw at the end of each toe, help them climb just about any surface to catch their food. They also have cute little spikes on their tails, just like this one has, and big beautiful eyes with vertical pupils, indicating that they are a nocturnal species. Anyway, this guy is super cute, and he doesn't seem to think I'm a predator anymore, as he's just letting me hang on to him, so I better let him go. Okay, yep, here, buddy. You can go under your board. Your giant board that you have all to yourself. Yep. He's like, wait, no, I like you now. You can go, I'm not gonna eat you. Oh. Goodbye! I'm gone. Should we explore the tunnel? Yeah! So, uh, there are a lot of hornet's nests in here, so don't get stung. Okay. What are these rooms? How far is this? Let's turn my flashlight on because they did warn us about that. I mean, wasn't this is an old military bunker, right? Is that what it is? Pretty sure. This is sweet. This is creepy AF. Cool. It actually looks a lot brighter on the camera than it does in person. Like, in person, it looks like that. I just turned down yeah. brightness. Yeah, that's about right. You'd agree? And I got the... And this is it on, on film. Okay. Oh my god, there's a hole in the floor. Okay. That is creepy. Oh yeah, I bet the holes go all the way down. Yeah, so just, they, she said be careful where you walk. Okay. Whoa, we made it to the other side. You don't want to go down that hallway? Oh, the electrical panel. Whoa. Touch that one and then touch that one. Oh yeah, great idea. <laughs> And you try and get to the other side. Go back, go back, go back. Ah, oh, he made it out. <laughs> Lame. Oh, he's a smart ground lizard. He's looking at me over there. I'd have oh, to yeah. spook him, Here, back. Spook him back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there you are. Look at that beauty. That's a ground lizard right there. They are impossible to catch. They're so fast. Okay, he's like five feet in front of me. Oh, there's a lot of brush. Okay, he's heading towards you. Okay. Starting to kind of head back to the cave-ish area, which is where we want him. Okay, starting to skitter towards you. Oh, yep, I see him now. Okay, curve to the right. Oh, I see him again. He's heading back to the... He's heading back towards the truck. Yep. Oh, he's down here ready. Okay. Oh, Shush him back into the cave. He oh, he's in! He's in! Oh, if he goes into that hole, he's going to be gone forever. No, 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 he's under the board. Oh, really? This board. This is going to be next to impossible. Well, just creep it up a little, and I'll see if I can jab my hand in there. Oh, he's in there. There he is. Oh, he went under that board. Is that one with a hole? Yep. Well, he's just going down this way. We could probably just keep him scurrying this way. Okay, scurrying back out. Is well, that scurrying to one side. Oh, yeah. And trap him. Let's try. Oh, I see him. Get him. Oh. Oh. Okay, well, there's no really place to go. No, you can only go back and forth under these boards. Yep. So you're just keeping them all up yep. on the boards? Okay. Well, Larry, he's, I think he's, he's running out. He's running out of energy. He is running out of energy. So are we, but I think. We have more stamina. We have cruise ship food in us. We do. We have to carry them back this way, though. Yeah, we do. Yeah, I'm not even going to try to grab, because we just need to get them in a better position first. Yep. Ugh, I'm going to get bit by something. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Oh, cobwebs. Well. Where'd he go? Oh, oh, shoot. Oh, he went down there. Well, there is another board. Okay. Just all the way down here. Okay. 
I don't think he's going to go all the way down. Oh, well, this doesn't go all the way down. No, it doesn't. It might be SOL. I think it might be. We didn't catch him. No. That was, though, a Puerto Rican ground lizard. They're really cool. They're big lizards in the area. Michael put a photo up here. Yeah, we're not in Puerto Rico anymore, by the way. We are now... Where are we? St. Thomas. St. Thomas was the last port. Yes, yes. we're in St. Thomas. We took a ferry to Water Island. We're trying to find some cool reptiles here. Found a ground lizard, but didn't catch it. No. So they eat a lot of bugs. They get, like, snap to vent eight inches, and then their tail is another six inches. So they're, they're a good-sized lizard. They're diurnal, very fast. This is creepy. I feel like we're gonna die. This is a really creepy tunnel. I, I wish they're so cool to see from a distance. I wish we could see one up close. I wanted to catch one. Oh, so badly. But... What was that? What was that? I'm getting out, out of here. here. There's a whole bunch of them. Aren't you pretty? Is that a scarlet millipede? That might be a scarlet millipede. Whoa, look that, at him that go. That is, that's full size. Is it really? Yeah, they're small species of millipede. Oh, he's so cute. Look at him go. Look at how many there are. <laughs> they're so cute. Hey, go buddy. Go back home. Alright, we are back from our cruise, back in Miami anyway. Cruise went by way too fast, as vacations do. Unfortunately, we didn't find a lot of reptiles, but we're gonna end this animals that we saw during our cruise video with this beautiful and rare butterfly. This is the Atala butterfly. There's and it, two of them there. There's the two way. of them mating right now. Yep. Uh, so, you know, great, great TV. It's perfect. These were thought to be extinct in the 1930s until they were rediscovered 30 years later in 1961, actually. And the reason why they went, ex or they were thought to have gone extinct was because of their main food source being the Kunti palm here. It was over harvested for starch products. So once it was believed that the Atala butterflies went extinct, they started protecting and not harvesting the Kunti palm as much. And lo and behold, their populations came back when they found one small breeding population in Miami. Now they are all around us right now, actually. It's really cool. They're flying everywhere and they are not only resting and breeding on these Kunti palms, they are eating them. They're laying eggs on them. There's pupae on the leaves. Like this is the Atala butterfly prime habitat right here. So really cool way to kind of round out our trip with a previously extinct species of butterfly to share with you today. So thank you guys for watching. Sorry we didn't really catch a lot of reptiles, but you know what? I think we're gonna stay here for a few more days to see what snakes we can find in Florida, because I have a feeling we're gonna have some pretty good luck down in the Everglades area. So stay tuned for that video. Thank you for watching this one. Thank you Patreon backers for your amazing support to allow us to make trips like this possible to teach you about these incredible species. And we'll see you next time.